Okay, gonna make it out on 22nd plate, 22nd today. Monday, 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 and it's sunny and beautiful and lovely. Way fam! I know who that was, that was Way Fam. Way Fam. You did not escape. Way Fam. We bagged you before. Well, I can't do that no more, Way Fam. You don't have to be worried. I ain't gonna go bag your your picture. Cause now I can get in trouble. So I don't want to get in any trouble, so I won't bag your picture, Way Fam, I promise. He's one of my favorite characters at uh, TriMet. We're gonna do the Burnside thing today. Because if I can get out here on uh, 22nd, I can, I can get Burns get up here pretty easily. Uh, I actually prefer the Burnside move to the uh, highway. Man, we got plenty of time here. You see Andy was really making time today. When he was uh, on his 58, he must have somewhere to go after the shift. And, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. We're ready for another round of, of TriMet Bus Driver Adventures. And uh, had a pretty good weekend as always. I always enjoy my weekends. My girlfriend comes over, we party, we have a good time together. Both go back to our respective places, and get serious about working again for the man. Not for the man. But we have, uh, you know, Chris Day has created this uh, as a secure website with, and he's doing these uh, 20 bus. He's doing these. Uh, Evaluate make your union officer. I thought it was cool in person, but I don't know how it's going to go over with the powers that be. They might not like like that. But I think that's a great tool because if you're not happy, and it's all anonymous, of course, you don't have to worry about being uh, being caught talking about your officer because it's anonymous. The only one that can tell who it is is the site administrator. He can't even he can't even get the information without going to a lot of trouble. So. And I like that because you can leave you can leave feedback there. You can leave feedback about your experiences with your union officer. That's a that's a very useful. I think that's a very useful thing to have because people really never talk to each other about our union experiences. Here. Now I happen to think that. Uh, the rep we have right now in Merlo, Jeff Ackerson, is probably the best rep we've ever had. He's certainly the most intelligent. And no offense to Pierce, of course, so I also thought was good. But I think uh, Jeff is really on the ball. Unfortunately for Jeff and for the rest of us, he's overwhelmed with the things to deal with, you know. Uh, you have one rep trying to deal with uh, all the problems of uh, an entire garage, and, I'm sh and he, you know, and he's not really getting compensation for that. He's getting time off from work, but it's not, it's not his uh, main focus. So I, I forgive him for not being completely up on every single detail of my my case. Is not really very important either in the big scheme of things. It's like, uh, come on, you're gonna go buy me or not? Because the lane is ending. You're not going by me because there's no more room for you either. Right? Uh, my case is a, is a civil rights issue. It's not really of any big importance in terms of like, oh, it's affecting it's affecting the public, and because you don't get to hear stuff anymore that you used to be able to hear. You don't get that anymore. All you it's gone, although I can transcribe reports, which is actually more effective in many ways. And that's how you heard the uh, baby, the baby operator deal was because I transcribed it. And actually is even more effective than the union, I mean, than the uh, actual call because it's, 
it get calls are a little bit disjointed and hard to follow but when you transcribe it and read it it's very very clear what's going on and so I mean I, I actually had time to uh, yeah, shoot our our crazy road here I actually had time to do a little uh, listening to I haven't had much time to listen to dispatch calls anymore lately I have just too much to do and it takes time to listen to those you know I, I search through them Oh, there's one. Man, dangerous, man. Uh, yeah, I, I did hear one interesting one. I was listening to Saturday. My two, if I am going to listen to Dispatch, I'll usually listen to Friday and Saturday because those are the two most action happens on those two days. And uh, I did hear one interesting conversation between a dispatcher and an operator on 3306 on Saturday where he has this 10 hour run and his longest break is 15 minutes and apparently he's late at each end and he called dispatch to request uh, that he be able to take his full he wanted, to, he wanted to have dinner you know he wanted to have something to eat so he did the right thing because now you have to ask dispatch for everything now you have no leeway in anything you do here and it's i think it's crazy but that's what they want so he did the right thing by calling them and lo and behold he, he told the dispatch that you know this is running only the longest break i get is 15 minutes 10 hours 10 hours on the road okay now the longest break you have is 15 minutes in other words you're you're working steadily for 10 straight hours and the 33 bus is very crowded I haven't drove it in quite a while but it's a heavy use run and he talked to the dispatcher and he said well I've contacted scheduling but the scheduler who's responsible for this route never answers the phone I'm sure they don't because they're not going to want they don't want to talk to you right so they're not going to answer their phone that's not no surprise there uh, and the dispatcher says, yeah, we've known about this 3306 situation for quite some time now. And we know it's crazy, but it's not going to get any better. It's uh, just a badly scheduled run. And just take your lunch break. Oh, Jesus. Take your lunch break and... Uh, and then just give us a ready for service when you're ready to go. Which is pretty much what you got to do at this point. You just... Come on, right turn on red, man. Right turn on red. You stupid fucking fuck. Sorry, but, you know, I can't believe they're not going. I, people that don't turn right on. No. Oh, right turn on red. Right turn on red. Now, now it's too late. Now the other lane. Now she goes, and the other lane goes. <sighs> people don't know how to drive, you know. It, it really irritates me because I am a professional bus driver and as a professional bus driver I know the rules and I follow the rules and I drive to expedite how how you get to and from wherever you're going you know and when people are holding you up you have a green light Jesus, this person is just out they're not paying attention you know people people are distracted Everything they're doing is distracting. You just, it's amazing that they're so focused on the electronic equipment because there's other distractions going on here, like people putting on their makeup, which is a main distraction. I see it all the time. People eating food, people talking to each other. In that case there, she's just carrying on a conversation with somebody. And it's just one big distraction after another. People driving, they're not focused. Now, I consider myself focused because I'm being a professional driver. I, I've learned how to focus my attention. All right, back to the subject. Yeah, so the dispatcher's telling the uh, operator, yeah, we've been dealing with this for several signups now, and, you know, it's not going to get any better, and just send us when you're ready for service. So the operator says, okay, we'll do that. And of course, that means that all the passengers now are going to be late and that sets up this cascade of uh, people that are bad vibing you behind you because you're late and uh, see now this is a organ they're all just sitting there 
green light and everybody's looking at something else.